Hey guys, Monday, July 15, U.S. session close. Let's see what the Black Widow has done today. So far, she is pushing lower. We are just kissing right now, value area low at 215. And it's kind of just stalled there. The bears are in control above the 20 moving average. And the bears are just piling on. No bulls in sight. And let's see if 214 holds. Let's look at our uh, simple glance chart. You can see that the daily, we already cracked through the cloud. I was thinking it was going to do a little capitulation and bounce right back up. But that didn't happen. We just got to see what the Black Widow wants to do. And so far, she is pushing lower, even pushing lower below the uh, 100 SMA. And then it looks like the MACD is about to cross over uh, negative. A couple of things I want to show you. We're getting close to, I mean, we already know uh, in regards to a scale chart, in regards to geometry, that it already failed somewhere around that 60-ish, 50-ish. That was your one by one. So we know, according to Gans theory, this is the weak side. We are more on the weak side. So it's already reflecting it and it's already showing it. I'm just using timing points to see where the possible turn is. The fact that we are weak, yes, we are very weak. And uh, looking at the LA wave count, at the uh, profit, uh, uh, profit take it index, um, I'm sure we're below 35 already. So things are not looking good for a normal wave four bounce, and it's pushing even lower. And the more that we continue pushing lower, the higher probability that it may not play out for a wave five. It's probably doing something else. This is a three, four. It would have been around here. It's still pushing lower. I mean, if you're going to get to here, which is what, $2, uh, and push even lower than that, then I can't see a wave of four going this deep. But uh, let's see. Let's see now if this is going to hold. You got your 50% here. You got your last APF angle right here. And it's stalling around 214 right now. Let's see what else. At our channel, we cracked this today. And we're finding support right now at the uh, 75%. And also you got this 50% here. So we got to see if these two uh, are going to hold right here. Especially this one, the green one. The green one's at the 50%. So you guys already know that. And the uh, regards to the FT levels. This is your big level down here. So could it go down? Yeah, it could go down there. It's a 191 to 195. And also, don't forget about the gap fill. That gap fill is between 190 all the way to 180, yeah, 184. I should probably write that price there. Can it go down there and then maybe turn? Man, that's a big drop. If, if it wants to fill this and then turn, that's a big drop. Or continue going lower. Seasonality and everything else is showing that it should it should be turning around. It should have turned around a way back, but it's you know price action is going to do what it's going to do. That's why I, I believe in that saying: price is king. And this is what the Black Widow wants to do. So we're following her and doing some probability and some timing points and see. But the key is wait for that reversal. Wait for the bulls to show up with volume. And so far, we thought we had it here, uh, and I think I traded on the third or the fourth or whatever, and that didn't play out. Got stopped out around two thirty nine. It kept pushing lower. So if you're short, remain short. You know, maybe this is this is where he wants to go. Maybe fill this gap. I don't know. But if you're short, there is no signs of reversals as of right now. I'm just saying. I'm not seeing any signs of reversal. Measured move. We had the twelfth right here. And you can see that today, they even pushed even lower. So there's a couple of more coming out in the future. Which one is this one? This one is the uh, 22nd. Yeah, so this is like way into the future. So we'll we'll see when we get there. Uh, SO, this is my turning points. This one didn't work out. It looked like it was, but then it pulled. The next one is the uh, 16, which is tomorrow. I kind of thickened these up because I felt like in the video, you can't really see them. And then this is your midpoint from this high. So this is uh, your one-third. So I want to see if this one-third 
uh, it's going to bring this turning point. But I want to see volume, and I want to see the bulls show up here. But so far, they're not showing up. But if nothing happens here, it could kind of go sideways and even continue pushing lower. Uh, using this technique, you have the uh, halfway, which is uh, August the, tw the 2nd, to see if maybe this turns. Maybe it goes all the way down here to fill this gap. And then maybe turns here. But if it does that, it's, I don't mean, you can't consider it a waveform. It goes down here. Maybe that's a one, two to fill this gap and then work on a three, you know, but that's me just, you know, speculating. Uh, nothing there. We broke 220. These are square of nine angles. Uh, square outs. Your next one will be 189. We already took that out. And uh, weekly, uh, this uh, 720, that's from your 152. I mean, can it be that it's going to be a low there? You know, theoretically, according to Gantz theory, it doesn't work like that, but you never know. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm open minded today, very open minded. Uh, but uh, anything else here? Well, you know, some of the GAN grids. We're finding support here. This is from the uh, GAN grid from the, uh, what was that high here? The 3.5 um, high. First, uh, this was the first, so this is your second impulse. Uh, so if you were going to do the GAN grid, you do one here, one here, and then you do one here, because this is, you, we already know this is an established swing high, but I haven't made that yet. Maybe I'll do it today or tonight, just to see what here. But so far, this is, you know, could be support. We don't know yet. Uh, this 214 with the uh, GAN grid of 3.5. Uh, 823, there's nothing there. Uh, this is the, uh, well, this is the October 27 high with the uh, first impulse. And this is the uh, one by one. So you're finding, you're, Kind of kissing or holding right now on the one by two. Uh, can it turn around? I don't know. We'll see. But we need, if we're going to regain anything, we need to regain 225 uh, and get above 227. If that happens, that could be an early sign of reversal. But so far, uh, in regards to... Uh, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to show you here. Let's go into our midpoint chart. Uh, this is what's looking not too good. It's already uh, have a sell signal or or weakness. Stokes are down. The uh, let's break the levels here because I know people are interested. So we took out our these are yearly pivots. Our two twenty four. Uh, these are uh, market profiles that I'm watching. Uh, but if it's going to go down, the bigger level will be one ninety four. And that's your April 14 low. So that you want to watch. I'm, I'm just saying if it really wants to go down. Because uh, that's somewhere around the uh, gap fill. So if it wants to go down there, this is that gap fill. 190 to 185, even lower than that. So just keep on watch for that. So 190 to 194, 184. That's your bigger target to the downside. If you still want to remain short or or short pops, uh, in regards to the uh, monthly pivot, we already took out 228, so we're in no man's land. There's nothing below besides uh, a market profile, uh, so it's very very extreme. Unless you want to go last month's uh, low, which was 191, and there is a target here of uh, two dollars, but very weak. And we broke below the mobile bands. So you got a snap back here and pushing lower. So still negative on the monthly. And looking at levels on the uh, weekly, we already kissed our level right here at a 214. And this is your last leg for the week. And obviously, you know that these are my, my market profile that I'm looking at levels below 214. Mobile's got negative. So any pops here uh, in the overnight uh, into tomorrow could be very, very, uh, could be potential shorts to the downside. Statistically, 
the day was supposed to be positive. That didn't play out. Tomorrow, statistically, it's also positive. But as you can see, today didn't play out. We don't know if it's going to play out tomorrow. So at least I uh, wanted to share that information. So this is the last leg, 214 for the whole week. And then let's look at our daily. Our daily, we took out the last leg for or pivot for today, which is around 219. And it really pushed. I'm sure it probably hit just stops. Uh, and now it's finding support at 214. So is this the low? I mean, this is where I'm kind of leaning. We're getting very close. If it's a possible turn, if it's not, uh, according to the uh, SO, um, then I'm going to be looking at other dates into the future. But these are the, the two ones that I was kind of leaning on. And your line in the sand for the overnight and the U.S. session for tomorrow will probably be 221. I'm not going to focus on all of these, but I will uh, look at, you know, even more downside. Your last uh, support or pivot target to the downside would be 207 all the way to uh, 211. And this is the area of the uh, market profile for support on different time frames. So far, everything uh, looks negative here. But this is the line in the sand for tomorrow. At least if we could get to 221. And we could get above this moving average of 200, which is 229, and at least get to 224. That's the FT levels. Then maybe we have a fighting chance for a possible turning point. But I can't stop stressing it. You have to wait for the reversal, and you have to wait for the bulls to show up with volume in order to have some convention, uh, com, uh, con, a conviction that we could probably have a turning point you know, around the corner. So far, 214. Wow. What's 214? The April 14 low of 194. Let's see if this holds. If not, you got 212, which is our February 20 uh, low. Uh, so you got these two dates that I'm watching. 214, I mean, not dates, uh, price levels. 214 and 212. 152, April 14 low. Uh, and then you got the 211, which is the, uh, what is it, two, uh, 215 degree? Getting rusty here on my GAN theory. And there goes the bell. I don't know if you heard it, but it's officially, officially ended. So look at where we at. I was thinking that maybe 224, we were going to chop around here and at least get up here. No, the Black Widow, all drunk and high heels and, you know, just, just, just throwing... <laughs> Throwing drinks at people, plates, you know, barbecue chips and pork chops and spaghetti. She's just brought us all the way down to 214 with her drunk self. But, you know, we got to play ball. So we just got to keep watching it. So if you're short, keep uh, just keep writing it down because we don't have no reversal. And if there's any pops to 218 and this uh, uh, resistance or failure, just keep shorting it. Uh, if it gets to 225 and it starts showing weakness, it'll probably be in between 214, 225 to 211, and 218 as your midpoint. But if it continues pushing lower, then past 211, we might get to 205 to 204. The gap fill is somewhere around 2... Uh, we got 194. It's in between 190 and 184 around there. This is your gap fill, which is the 90 degree. So just keep in the back of your mind that we could probably go all the way down here. In regards to date wise, I don't know when, but this is very possible trying to fill this gap 184 to 190. Uh, so let's see if we could, you know, stay above 214 at at least 221 and see if tomorrow. It could be a reversal. If not, uh, you know, any pop, try to get, you know, this momentum. But it's very, it's very, uh, very risky. Uh, so you got to just be smart, you know, and place your stops so like that when you don't, you don't get black whittled out. Well, I'm going to sign out. Uh, let me know your thoughts. You think there's more downside? You think we're filling the gap? I mean, in regards to Elliott wave, we already blew 218. That's the wave four on the weekly chart. Projection wave four, we're at 214. Is this like a bear trap? And then it's going to pop tomorrow. 
Uh, these are the dates I was watching today and tomorrow for maybe a possible reversal, but we don't know yet. You know why? Because we are not seeing it in price action yet. Not even on the four hour, not even on the hour. And I want to see a big fat green candle in regards to volume to let me know, well, you know, maybe the bulls are showing up and maybe this is a possible turning point. In regards to the commitments of traders report, large speculators are like pushing lower, commercial are hedging. So that's not helping, you know, the bulls in regards to uh, uh, position trading. Uh, in regards to demand, you already know the numbers that came out. Maybe it's not helping out. But statistically, today and tomorrow are positive. Let's see what tomorrow's going to bring us. I'm going to sign out. Hope you like this video, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on that, guys.